Hi, my name's Indra Pal, head designer and part-time model here at RMIT's Ex Nihilo studio. In this studio, we're using HoloLens technology to design and fabricate complicated assemblies. Drawings have always been seen as integral to the profession of architecture, but while they're incredibly good at describing two-dimensional geometries, they aren't good at describing non-planar geometries. Some of the models that we've been creating simply would not be possible to build in any other means. With the HoloLens technology, we're able to see them in situ in the direction that they're able to go and adjust to it accordingly. The other benefit of using HoloLens technology is going through design iterations in a way that doesn't waste energy. Here we have an early example of an iteration where simply it didn't carry the design intent as well as would have been intended and instead of having to start fresh, redraw the drawings and so on, we were simply able to change the 3D model and adapt to it straight away, pumping out a second iteration with absolutely no time to lose. really makes the HoloLens and Patronus such effective design and fabrication tools is how they give us the agency to adapt to unexpected changes in direction. The design process for our model involves simulating a mesh-based planar field over a large sculptural roof. These field lines are connected by tensile braces which act both as ornament and reinforcement. What excites me the most about this new technology is how we can take this new Baroque form outside of the wonderful realm of academia and into the real world. While we're already seeing some complex non-Euclidean forms being constructed by people such as Toya Ito, we're yet to see them built in a way that is economic and time efficient. 